I loved cooking on MasterChef, but there's nothing quite like cooking for your friends and family. And today, my family are coming around for lunch and I'm cooking a really simple dish that's definitely a crowd pleaser. It's my mushroom tagliatelle. So I'm using six varieties of mushrooms today. The first ones are fresh shiitake, shimeji mushrooms. We've got some chestnuts, two varieties of oysters. We have our white and greys, Swiss browns, and some king browns. By all means, you can use any mushrooms you like, uh, depending where you live and what season it is. So first step is to prep our mushrooms. Now, depending on what size they are, texture, everything like that will determine how we're going to cut them and at what time we're going to put them in the pan. Finally, we have our oysters. Now these are the most delicate out of all of them, so they'll be going right at the end. To make sure that they are the right size for when you're eating, you can simply grab them and split them down the middle, and they tear apart in a really delicate way. So I think they're pretty good mouth size pieces. Now to finish off our prep, we're going to be slicing up two cloves of garlic, some chili, which is dependent on the variety you choose and how spicy you like your dish, along with some thyme. Now we've just added our garlic, chilli and thyme to the pan. This is a non-stick pan on a medium heat. You want to wait till that becomes lovely and fragrant before you add your mushrooms. The first two mushrooms that we've put in are our king browns and our Swiss browns, just because these ones are the more robust kind of mushroom and the way we've cut them, they'll take a little bit longer to cook than the others. Now as they start to colour, what they're going to do is start letting out some of their moisture and what we're waiting for is for them to release their liquid and that liquid to evaporate so that we know when we continue to add more mushrooms, we're not going to crowd the pan and make them saute. They're actually going to get nice and golden. The next mushrooms I'll add are these beautiful chestnuts. We're going to keep these whole just because they will wilt down and they're a good size. Now, this point is a good point to start seasoning just a little bit. Now, as you can see, these have become a beautiful golden brown. To this, we're going to add our finely sliced shiitake mushrooms. Finally, we have our oysters. The pasta that we're using today is tagliatelle. It's a little bit wider than fettuccine and thinner than pappardelle. So to finish our mushrooms, we've got three final elements. One of them, which is a personal favourite of mine, is porcini butter. Now, if you don't have porcinis and can't make this butter, by all means, you can use any butter that's appropriate for this dish. To this, I'm going to add a handful of chopped parsley. Now, it's important with the butter as well. Don't leave that too long or it will begin to brown. And then finally, just a touch of chicken stock. If you don't have any chicken stock, you can just use the pasta water. Now, the last thing we're going to add to this dish is a generous amount, and I mean generous, of some pecorino. And this will add a beautiful umami flavour, make it cheesy. That's what pasta's about. All right, and now I think it's time for a cheeky taste. This smells absolutely amazing. I'm just going to finish with a bit of fresh parsley and extra little bit of olive oil. And there you go, guys. It's as simple as that to be an everyday master chef with my mushroom tagliatelle. Now for the finishing touches to my table. 